sophisticated and lifelike. Gentlemen, move over for my friend Vic. The Commodore Vic 20. Move over. The Commodore Vic 20 does more than your machines. It's a great computer that also plays great games. Like this. And this. And this. A computer that plays great games? Under $300. Exactly. We didn't know. Get the Commodore Vic 20 computer, bro. Oh, there you go. And thank you for the intro, Bill. Nice wig. Well, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Commodore VIC-20, obviously. And behind me here is my VIC-20, which I bought off of eBay. It's my first unboxing video. Uh, I've got this a few days ago now. Um, it's been quite tempting to open it before this, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my first ever unboxing video to get it all on camera and hopefully be no disappointing, uh, disappointing surprises inside. I did ask the guy to pack it really well. So, fingers crossed he has. It was sold to me as untested. Uh, however, in the listing they did power in the power supply, plug in the power supply, just to show the red LED lit up. Obviously, when it's sold to you as untested, usually it means it doesn't work. So, let's have a look. Right then, let's, uh, let's get this open. feels quite solid so it feels like it's been packed well. I don't feel anything rattling around inside. Needs to use thick cardboard. Introduction to Basic Part 1. Uh, I don't think I had that as a kid. Uh, incidentally, the first time I had a Vic, a Vic 20, or the last time I had one, was right about 1987, I think. Um, got it at a car boot sale, so wouldn't have paid a lot for it back in the day. Well, wow. books in really good condition. Mega Race. Some cassettes here. Space Snake, Wacky Waiters, Atlantis, Hoppit Type of Tune Blitz, and what that is. That feels empty. Oh, that must be for that. And then your introduction to Basic Part 1. Take 2 and Take 1 there. Some more cassettes. And the film still work. Sarah's tape leave off. There you go. Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> wow. That'll be a, a mystery cassette. It's an audio tape by the looks of it. Leader of Certified C20. 20. 20 minute cassettes. That one's empty as well. So maybe those other ones go in there. Someone's right in there. Billiards mini pack load. Press load hyphen mini hyphen. Oh. Alright, getting into it now. So there's your lead, uh, they have the lead RF adapter in there. May as well open it all up over here. Yes, the official Commodore RF adapter. Cattle lead. Oh, joystick. Forgot about that being interesting actually. Bonus prizes. We've got a Spectra Video Model 318 
dash 102 made in Hong Kong. I used to get through so many joysticks when I was a kid with frustration and not being able to do games. Just with a ten of any back in the, in the day second hand. But these days these kind of things I find hard to find. Breakdown insurance plan for the VIC-20. There's, in, there's the manual. Making music. I don't think I had the manual for mine when I was a kid, but to be honest with you, it was so long ago I can't remember. This will be the power supply. I think I'll probably test the voltage on this before I plug it in just to see what it's outputting. Even though in the adverts on eBay it did say, or well, showed a picture of them plugging it in, show it lit up. Which power supply have we got? Oh, it's one of those ones, the heavy big brick. It's absolutely bulging, filled with resin, no doubt. Mm. Tape unit. Now I wanted the original tape unit because I had the um, the square rectangular one, the early one, when I was a kid. Um, so I'll probably get one of those at another time. But that's all still pristine in the box. Wow, certainly been looked after. No doubt the belt, uh, belt I want changing. Alright then, I'll get to the main bit now. Well, looks like the original polystyrene and they've gone and chopped it up, unfortunately. It's uh, lighter than I have been. One end. Yes, it was the original polystyrene, unfortunately, they've chopped it up. Yeah, oh dear. Never mind. There we go. Well, there it is. What have we got here then? Made in England, 15 watt model, 338852, the serial number. It's one of the later models because it's got the DIN power supply. The earlier ones had a two pin on them. It's obviously, one joystick port on the uh, VIC 20. Cartridge slot, tape, and monitor out. And then you have the tape and another expansion port there. Uh, it's not as yellowed as I thought it might be actually. It looks just quite grubby, like it might clean up quite nicely. You can see someone's written in one of those postcode marker pens on there. You can just about see an address. Let's try and get that off. Well, I suppose the next thing to do is to <coughs> test the power supply and then get it set up. Right then, let's test the output of the power supply um, to make sure it's outputting the correct voltages because if it's not, it can potentially damage the computer itself. So first of all, we'll start off with the AC side. Should be 9 volts on that side, and then it should be DC 5 volts on this side. So let's try AC first. There you go, just have a 9 volts AC. Switch over to DC. And we have 5 volts DC there, just slightly over. So that all seems to be in order. So I'll take it over to the computer now and uh, plug it in. And fingers crossed, it will it will work. Right then, let's start plugging it in. First of all, we've got the RF adapter. These will only go in one way, so you can't make a mistake with that on the tape port and the. RF out. So that's that plugged in. Should have switched it off. Switched it off. Mm. 
Right then, now the moment of truth. I've got the TV on. Um, I may have to tune it in yet, so we'll see. Let's switch on the mains. You hear the transformer humming. Here we go. My goodness, it's come on. I can't believe it. I really didn't expect it to work at all. Well, that's the initial power on. Um, let's see. The keys work. Oh, the shift lock's stuck down there. Wow, well, so far so good. Do that IMP. The keys feel nice. Oh, it seems to be working, I can't believe it. Wow. So the next thing to do, I suppose, is try a game. Or plug the tape deck in. So let's try that. Switch it off. Right then, let's try loading a cassette. Game off of tape. I've got Mosquito in there, Atlantis. Press play. Let's bring out some memories. I always remember this being quite unreliable back in the day though, but sometimes the games would load and sometimes they wouldn't. I should have probably gone past the leave tape slightly. Certainly bringing about some nostalgia. Here we go, I found the mosquito loading. I bet this hasn't been used for 25 or 30 years. It just amazes me that it still works. If I remember rightly, games you should usually take about five minutes to load, so I may speed this up in the video. Loading ready. You type in run. There we go. I couldn't remember that. <laughs> Press space bar. Travel around the maze, avoiding the swarms of mosquitoes, and escape through the door at the other end and proceed to the next screen. Press space bar. Fire square keyboard. I think that's gonna. Oh, it's continuing to load now. So I've never played this game, I can't remember it at all. Uh, one of my favourite games from the 80s, when on the Commodore 64, was Chucky Egg. That was my absolute favourite. I have it on the BBC Micro as well. I'll have to do some videos on those. So F1. Here we are. Wow. Does that mean... Yeah. Human. Can't hear any sound. Uh, I've got the volume up, that would help, wouldn't it? Here we go. Wow. Quite a steady picture considering it's been converted to a from RGB to a composite. Uh, UHF rather. No idea what I should be doing. Oh, I see, that can take you through a portal. Well, we can see that it works. Uh, game over already, what's your name? Retro Gadget Man. Well, I think that uh, concludes the test for that part. I think I might try a um, cartridge next. It's uh, Amiga Race, let's try that. Straight on. F1 for joystick. Oh, this looks more like my cup of tea. Wow. Is 
think I've got this on the Atari. What's on the second one? I'm not very good at this. How <laughs> oh, simple things were back then. Wow. Well, I think that just about wraps it up for this show. Taking a nice trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed the nostalgia with me. Uh, if you did like the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be doing some more, and I'll be seeing you.